US indices last week has begun with on a bullish note achieved the record levels beat the S&P Nasdaq or Dow and towards the end of the week the last two days were a mayhem and we have seen a sharper crash here specifically towards the last trading session what to expect from the US indices in the coming week can we expect a recovery or we are looking forward for the indices to erase the gains from the Trump rally what we had seen post elections what is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading the S&P Nasdaq and Dow we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators we will do a multi time frame analysis and arrive at the levels at which you can take a trade trade with profits trade with confidence trade with logic subscribe press the bell icon do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first s&p 500 followed with nasdaq in the end now watch firstly on the four hour charts look at the formation rise retracement rise retracement almost 50 percent retracement is done and now s&p has come down to a very strong support zone where it is consolidated for a while before showing another breakout now this zone between 5800 5850 is very very and how it behaves at this zone is going to decide the future of S&P as below this we are looking forward to 5700 the next base here and if it this is taken we are looking forward to a crash here yes the sharper the rise the sharper could be the reversal but this will broadly see on the daily and weekly charts on the four hour charts it appears we have seen a good slump the moving averages are on the verge of a crossover we can see lower highs and lower lows are getting created very very important for s p to trade below 58 50 58 40 zone that will confirm its movement towards 5857 80 as the next below which we are looking forward to a greater down move in the coming week stock Isaac and magdi has come to an oversold zone you can see it has seen a sharper slump here a possibility of a recovery exists the rsi has also come down to the oversold zone staying overbought we have seen a sharper correction here let's move to the daily now on the daily charts remember how S&P trades here is if you connect the dots you will find that this is how it has been trading higher lows and higher highs. Where are the lows here towards 5800, 5780 very strong support existed around this zone and any drop below 5700 will call for a greater correction here. Remember any drop below 5700 will call for a greater correction 5650, 5600 next and then in fact we are looking forward to a move towards 5400 but right now if you look at the formation every rise follows with a little retracement and that is what is happening here as well forming a reversal sign second red candle is observed and you can also notice this is a very good support zone this is also the 20 period and the median of the Bollinger bands so now a selling entry in S&P is only below 58 50 levels where and 58 58 58 40 is going to be a very good support zone below which we are looking forward to a greater greater down move here stock stick has dropped macd now see macd and even i have been sharing this since long whenever s p hits the macd for s p hits this highs for last one year you can see we are we look forward to a reversal here see this time see this time and here anyways a bigger v so this time again it may deliver a bigger v here possibility is there rsi has dropped as well coming to v now most importantly on the weekly chart see one point you should note that it has already delivered higher highs and it is closed with a little wick as well so there is a possibility that it can start with a slight bullish note and now as long as 5950 5972 zone is not taken in the coming week we should not be treating S&P as bullish this is very very clear only and only if it trades above 59.50 59.72 you can say now the bulls are back in action and we are looking forward to again the record levels here this one point you should keep a note of else what is happening here one bullish candle and we can expect a follow up bearish candle it can erase the gains from this candle it can erase the gains from this candle in one candle as well or it may take a couple of more and come down to these levels what are the levels here 5700 5700 5680 very very good support 20 period moving average sitting at around 56 50 levels that is also a good support if you look at the snp for the last uh, one year or more you will find it is never closed below the 20 period moving average and it appears it is again striving hard to achieve those levels let's see if it does show this move here stock isaac has dropped here 
the mag now i shared this several times look at the magd this is at extreme levels here and sooner or later it has to it has to fill this white space look what has happened here look the time speaks of its own what you can expect here is what you can see here and thus a crossover here is what you should wait coming week is going to be important a crossover here is what i should wait which will confirm that snp is about to crash any move below 5700 5680 5650 should lead to a greater correction towards 5500 and 5400 rsi at top coming to now see at the beginning of the month itself i have mentioned that four greener candles with bigger tails now this time it is started on a flat note with higher lows now this candle will become the first reversal candle now for this to turn bearish what is required is for s p to trade below 5700 levels now once it trades below 5700 as i said we will look forward to a down move towards 5600 or in fact 5400 levels in the near future now then this will become the reversal candle this will close in the first red candle and the next candle you can imagine is going to be a strongly strongly bearish. and thus for the month of november 5700 56 80 56 50 is going to be the most critical support zone here now see too much of divergence of the price from the 20 period calls for it to correct what has happened here look at this what is what could be expected here look at this where is the bottom far below at 5000 the stock i stick extremely overbought trying to cool down yes on the monthly charts it has never stayed this far on the overbought zone thus it appears that this time we can look forward to a reversal the macd is also at the extremes here it must try to converge and the current candle is going to be the decisive one rsi still has some room but uh, look at this lower highs and uh, a reversal has to be there but right now i can say we should not be uh, too early to conclude that a crash is expected as long as it respects 5700 5680 we can still be cautious with the cells here so now in the coming week there is a possibility of beginning of the week with a slight bullish note or if it gives a gap down it is not going to come back this is very clear and thus a little possibility of a retracement is only there once it starts to crash trades towards 5850 5820 zone and then recovers towards 58 20 50 levels i will not treat this as a retracement so now first thing is the buying entries where is the buying entry i will read now first let's talk about the buy side yes there is a possibility of a little retracement but i will only recommend you to buy at 5882 remember till 5952 5972 zone is not taken in the coming week we should not be trading snp as bullish it is possible retracing a little on the upside at least towards 5920 5940 you can expect a reversal here and it can again crash sharply this one possibility you should not ignore but once it trades below beyond 595 to 5972 it is not going to come back down this is very very clear we are looking forward to again 60 20 60 50 levels on the downside you can sell here at 58 60 levels but then you have to be very careful of this this and till 5800 till 5800 it has got very good support levels here below this you can see increasing bearishness then the next one is ideally at 5750 and below that 5700 now this is the most critical support zone if it starts to crash and keep on dropping 5700 5680 is the strongest milestone now remember from 5900 to 5700 thus four to three percent correction from the current levels which is quite feasible in fact it can happen in a single day and at that point it may try to find some base try to stay sideways and then crash further right now i can say that you have to be watchful uh specifically till 5800 the bearishness should not be uh, such a strong and then we can see it trading with accelerated patience trade accordingly let's move to nasdaq see likewise what we had seen for nasdaq the same is getting replicated here for tech 100 uh, remember a greater resistance was observed here and then we have seen this fall it has come down to the support zone here now this is the very good support here you can see this was the resistance earlier and now this has become the support here so in between 20,200 to 20,500 is where the key lies for tech 100 
any drop below 20,200 is a clear indication that we are looking forward to a move which is going to take it towards 19,800 or 19,500 as well. Be mindful of this. This is just the beginning of the analysis. Let's have a look at the indicators. Moving averages on the four hour charts have started to converge on the verge of a crossover here. Now, what has happened on the tech 100? See, sharper decline. It can retrace a little, but I, I will say till 20,700, 20,800, we have to exercise a bit of caution and not treat as a, uh, tech 100 as bullish till then. The stock I think is oversold. The MACD has also dropped sharp. That RSI has also come towards an extremely oversold zone, which calls for a little pullback. Now, look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, remember, very, very important. Uh, see, tech 100. For the last few sessions, you can see almost couple of months, we have not seen it trading below the 50 period moving average. In fact, the 20 was a very good support. Here it has got to us 50, it has got its support. Now this time again, the 50 period moving average proven out to be a good support. And you can notice that this zone is indeed a very, very good support zone. The second point here is the increasing bearishness which we had seen. Now this time, if you see it is staying below 2300, 200, Remember, the next target is towards 20,000, Below this, we are looking forward to a greater correction towards 19,700, 19,500 and lower levels. Stock ISTIC has dropped sharp. The MACD is on the verge of a crossover. This crossover can lead to a correction here. Let's see if it does deliver this. It is, it is traded with divergence. It is now looking downwards. And the first candle, that is the first trading session on the coming week is going to be the most important one. If it continues to keep trading bearish, stays below 20,200, I think the look back or the up move is going to be difficult and then it is going to be all sell the rise thing. RSI has dropped sharp as well. Coming to week. Now on the weekly charts, you can see ideally it could have erased all the gains from the preceding candle. It is started late. Now, as I said, this was the reversal confirmation. This was the first bearish candle. And now the coming week is going to be the decisive one here. Any drop below 2300, 200 is where we are looking forward to, in fact, 1900, 19, and in fact, lower levels. Now, I will say, see, still it is very early to conclude. Do not say that it is just going to crash here. See what it has done. It has delivered higher highs and higher lows. And now, only bullishness, only reversal confirmation in tech 100 is if it trades above 2700-800 zone. Now, if it stays above 2700-800, I will say tech 100 has still got, got uh, much room for the upside. If it stays above 2700-800, I will turn bullish and then we can expect it to trade above 21000 again. If you look at the stock, I think this is drop sharp. The MACD if you look at the MACD on the weekly charts, this is already trading at the extremes and it has been just showing the swings here. Though the last crossover has happened very, very recently and it is still in green. So I will not say uh, as long as 20,000 is not taken and 19, see, still 19,800 is also another good support. So as long as these levels are not taken, we should not be trading tech 100 as bearish. Only confirmation of bearishness and of prospective crash in the month of November for tech 100 is if it trades below 20,000 first in 19,800 levels below which you can expect a greater correction. RSI looking downwards coming to the month. Now look at the monthly chart. See preceding two candles you can see after a bit of retracement it has given this breakout. It has delivered higher lows and higher highs. And now see it is very very important for it to trade below 20,000, 19,800 and then uh, I will see 19,500 as the next targets because below this we are looking forward to a greater, greater, greater correction. And this is going to be just the beginning of it where this will become the top. And then the next forthcoming candles are going to take the prices down. In fact, 17,000 in the near future cannot be denied. So uh, the coming week is very, very crucial for tech 100 and the month of November is equally crucial. I will still not say that it has turned bearish as long as 20,000 and 19,800 is not taken. Stock ISTIC looking upwards here. The MACD is still trading with bullishness, though it has hit the extremes. And at this point, it has to converge here and cross over. Let's wait for it. The RSI is just entering into overbought zone. So it is again very early to conclude for Tech 100 that it has turned bearish as long as 20,000, 19,800 is not taken. I will not.
treat this as bearish possibility of a move towards this zone exists and from these levels again it can bounce back considering this before i give you the levels if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram connect with me write an email ping me over telegram for your queries and if you're looking forward to a broker which offers you a self free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges easier transactions and easier withdrawals from across you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description with that now see these levels are going to remain applicable for the complete month of november and the coming week is very very crucial again as i said these levels are something you should watch out on the downside any break below these levels should invite more bears out here and any break below this zone is going to be treated critically where we are looking forward to a greater move towards the month of the end towards the end of the month it may try to move towards 19500 as well on the upside till 2700 800 you should not be treating this as bullish the major hurdles on the upside are towards 2500 and 2600 zone and you can say every 100 points there is a greater hurdle and bullishness is only about 2800 where you can expect 950 970 at the next targets and then 21100 though uh, chances for such a strong recovery appears to be less but i will still not say that it is turned bearish remember as long as 200900 is not taken do not trade tech 100 as bearish trade accordingly let's move to dow now see us 30 here on the monthly charts you can see preceding candle could become the reversal candle yes preceding candle can still become the reversal candle if you see us 30 now trading below 42041 800 700 zone now see if you see it trading below this you can say this is the beginning of the reversal in us 30 this is going to be the first candle and a massive crash towards 42,000 towards the end of the month can lead to 38,000 and 40,000 levels towards the end of the year yes we have seen good enough bullishness here in us 30 and right I will still not say that it is going to turn bearish because see it is trading in this bullish channel and it requires a hell lot of effort for US 30 to reverse completely. However, the prospects are very high as it is trading with too much of divergence as it has seen a very good bull run from these levels here and now already it has seen the close to 44,500. So yes, a reversal cannot be denied here. If you look at the stock ISIC, this is also overbought. The MACD, if you look at, see, MACD has already hit the extremes, though it is possible it can hit further highs and, and it can still close the month in green. This possibility we still have. So uh, for this, as, that is why I say as long as 42, 41, 800 is not taken, it is not to be treated bearish. Now see, also we, we should note that it has already seen a greater move here and it is definitely going to require a hell lot of effort from the US 30 to reverse completely. RSI just entering into overbought zone. Coming to the week on the weekly charts, uh, it is possible that US 30 might erase the gains from the preceding candle, but it is going to be very, very difficult. Also notice that it is delivering higher highs. It is delivering higher lows. Support till 42,000 are very, very strong. 42,000 is 1,500 points away from the current levels. And then the 20 period at 41,800, 700. Very strong support. Now see, Possibility is there that this may become reversal sign. It can deliver two or three bearish candles from here that towards the end of the month it can come down to 42,000, 41, 700. But largely I was, it still has the potential for reversal. Now if you see it trading above 44,000 again, consider that the bulls are back. Be mindful of this. These are markets, anything and everything is possible. Stock ISIC has dropped. MACD is on the weekly charts is still rising. It is still divergent and bullish and looking upwards. The RSI is rising as well. Coming now, this is important on the daily chart. See three candles here, and uh, see preceding two candles. Almost you can find out a symmetry of it. First one with a little wick, second one with a little tail. Now this is the zone which it needs to break here, which is right now positioned at around 43, 700, 800 levels. It has to break this zone in order to confirm reversal. It is going to be definitely difficult here look at the formation what is happening rise retracement rise retracement rise retracement now when it is starts to retrace it is still it, is, it is still respects this channel now if it respects this channel still the lows are towards 42 400 42 thousand levels breaking below which is where we have lot much of white space towards 40 thousand and 38 37 thousand 
stochastic to the oversold zone macd at the top of it and whenever you see macd for the last one year at these highs it always tries to reverse this is another observation rsi has dropped as well coming to four look at the four hour charts see it, it is it is consolidated here now see every drop follows with a little retrace but now drop it could retrace and even if it tries to retrace it is going to be very very difficult for us 30 to first break beyond 43600 and then 43700 800 if it stays above 800 that is the point of time where you can also expect it to stay above 44000 stock i stick oversold macd extremely bearish and rsi at bottom so looking at this uh, it increases that the chance it increases the chance that on the very first trading day in the coming week there could be a little retracement however uh, 43600 640 first and 43 720 and 800 second so till 43 800 we are going to see extreme resistance here for us 30 and do not treat this bullish till then looking at this let me provide you the levels if you're not joined my free telegram channel join it today and if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe and press the bell icon join the signals channel as well reach out to me by telegram or email for you first let's talk about the levels to buy i will recommend you to buy here at 43 460 levels expect 43540 very very good resistance here then i will expect 43720 and then 43800 will appear these are going to remain greater resistances any move beyond 43800 should take it towards 44k and 44150 levels beyond which sky is the limit on the upside we are again looking forward to 44500 45000 level chances for such a strong reversal exist less but yes these are markets on the downside i will recommend a selling entry at 43380 now see uh, 43380 is a very good support zone and if it trades below this and close on a daily basis below this we are looking forward to a very good correction here now if it closes on the daily basis below 43350 uh, see first till 43200 at least you should be ex exercising extra caution because below this we are looking forward to a move towards 42800 42500 42350 42180 42k and then 41800 very very good support here below this strongest drop towards 41500 now these levels are not only applicable for the coming week for, but for the rest of the month of november as well and any drop below 41800 41500 the chart targets are towards 40k very very soon Take your positions accordingly, take your trades accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship badge, join my signals channel, reach out to me for your queries, see you again with my daily updates for the US indices, do not miss to watch that, join the free telegram channel for live updates, join the signals channel, thank you, have a great profitable trading week ahead and a happy weekend, thank you.